Hey guys, how are you doing? If you're new here, welcome to our podcast page. Our podcast is all about movies and dramas reviews. And I'm Cookie, and my friend Ido san will be joining us today. Okay,、um, as you may notice, that there are a lot of TV series and movies about psychopaths, serial killers, and very thriller detective stories, murder, mystery, etc. And we are both into those genres. So today we're talking about a very interesting series of a psychopath Korean drama called Mouse. And the drama was aired on the 3rd of March 2021 on TVN. It was directed by Choi Jung Bae and written by Choi Rang. So, Ido san, before we go i n into the、um, story, can you please introduce us the lead characters in the drama? So, before we start going into the details about the story, you will notice all the characters are important in their own ways in this series. But we won't mention all of them here on our podcast. We will only talk about the lead characters that are able to trick act around the city. There are six main characters in total that we would like to mention here. The first one is Lee Sang Gi as John Barron. The second one is Lee Hae Jong as Go Mo Chi. The third one is An Jae Woo as Han So Jong. The fourth one is Kwon Hwa Yeon as Song Yoo Han. The fifth one is Park Jong Hoon as Oh Bong Yi. And the last one is Kyung So Jong as Choi Hong Jin. Cookie, some people might not be familiar with the word psychopath. What does it mean? Well,、um, here. I would like to start with a brief explanation on what a psychopath means. Psychopath is a person suffering from chronic mental disorder with abnormal or violent social behavior. Then, in this drama, there is a kid suffering from this psychopath behavior. He tried his best to pray to become a normal kid, like having normal feelings and acting normal as any other kids around him. However, it seemed his prayers didn't work and he started murdering animals and then people at a very young age. Yeah,、um, that's it. And Ido san, now should we jump into the story and、um, how it started? Sure, here we go. I would like to start with John Barron. He used to be a rookie police officer at a redevelopment area. He is a very kind and honest and care person, especially toward o b o n g Yi and her grandmother. Because o b o n g Yi is one of the victims at a very young age of psychopath murder case at the area she has been living in. The psychopath murderer has already served in the prison for his action, but she has been suffering from trauma severely until she became a d u l t Especially on rainy days. And her grandma knew about it, and of course, she is worried about her very much. Thus, she asks a favor to Baron to marry and take care of her granddaughter. One day, he performs as a magician at the prison. His very close friend, Na Chiku, prison guard, is found dying in the magic box. Strangely, the way Chiku is attacked is one of the same methods used by an anal psychopath murder. Who placed the entire nation, nation in fear? So he goes and finds the chief, Detective Komochi, who is chasing the psychopath day to night desperately. He requests him to be a part of the team. Since then, he has been very active and participate in the pr- whole process of finding who the motherfucker psychopath killer is. Kuki,、uh, I think every psychopath has a reason to kill their prey and their own style. What does it look like in this drama? Okay, so here I want to explain that every psychopath has a unique style of killing their prey. s So, in this case, people were killed brutally one by one in this drama with one common thing that Detective and、um, b a r d a m noticed. It was the possession of the killer left behind every victim after the murder. So, the murderer seemed to be very mad at God for some reasons.、Um, to specify on this、um, unknown psychopath, Since he was young, he wanted to be like other kids. He didn't want any psychopath emotions, which was he found pleasure in killing process. So he prayed to God many times to become a normal kid, and he wanted to fit in at schools and his own family. However, he somehow lost faith in God, and the psychopath genes 
inside him got stronger and stronger. That was why every time he killed his prey, he cut the middle finger off um, the victims and let them face straight to the cross. Moreover, he kept every victim's belongings and put it in the next victim's body to show misery for the police to find out. So, Idosan, how was the process of um, police solving this misery? Later on, somehow Dr. Mochi, Baran and his team find the clues that point exactly to Sao Yuhan, a very genius sergeant. Unfortunately, one and only friend of Yuhan get killed with the exact same way as the other victims. Moreover, the detective team figure out that Yuhan is the son of the psychopath known as Headhunter. So, they are very sure that he gets the psychopath gene from his father and kills all those innocent people. Yuhan trying to escape when all the evidence are pointing to him. He also find out something and he decided to kill Baron on his own. However, while attacking Baron, he got shot by Detective Mochi. Koki, can you continue about the story? So yeah, after that incident, two of them were brought to hospital and unluckily, only one of them could make it. Baram was recognized as a nation's hero after Yohan died. But the one and most important secret that the nation did not know was Baram had a brain surgery and Yohan's brain was implanted in his. When he recovered, he started noticing that his kind and warm-hearted behavior was changing as if he was another person. He even killed his bird just because he was annoyed by its voice. Later, he found out about his brain surgery and he was so worried about being influenced by Yuhan's brain and turning into a psychopath himself. As he predicted, he did become a killer, but a killer who murdered psychopath serial killers, despite he was one of them. Of course, the detective and police wouldn't agree to the idea of killing the killers and they happened to um, investigate who that would be. Then, Danielli plays a big role in his daily life. He suggests him to release his aggressive behavior by killing other psychopath serial killers. For example, the one who is the predator of Obongi case. But, little did they know is that there is an organization called OZ that covers up all the traces of Baron's attempt in order not to find out by police. But, why do they cover up him? What are the hidden reasons behind it? Well, um, later on, police found out some possibilities of Yuhan might not be the right psychopath killer of the cases while they were working on the investigating the killer of psychopaths. But how? How is that possible? No one knew his brain was implanted. No one knew if he really was a psychopath killer. and. No one had the solid evidence of him murdering people and everything turned out to be just unsure doubts and predictions. So what would happen? Well, Komuji and um, Chang Baram, who had Yohan's brain tried to get back to Sang Yuhan's cases, who would Chang Baram choose to become? A psychopath, serial killer or a kind and warm-hearted police officer? For more details about how Baram would choose his praise and what the hell with Ozzy and what is Danielle trying to do with Baram etc. We highly recommend you to watch this very tricky and amazing thriller series, Mouse. By the way, ido -san, what do you think about Psychopath and if you are Obongi, do you think you can love a murderer? Yeah. <laughs> I have been asking myself the same question. If I were Bongyi, could I keep loving a murderer after finding out about Baron? What about you guys? Regarding psychopath serial killer, what I wanna ask you all is All serial killers can be psychopaths. All serial killers are different from psychopaths. For me, I think all the serial killers cannot be psychopaths. Because psychopaths enjoy killing and chasing their prey. Another way to say is they find pleasure in killing human or any creature. But for serial killers, it is different. And they might have some kind of relationship with their target and they might be seeking for revenge. 
or another way can be that a serial killer walks for sudden someone or group and goes out to kill their target as assassin. Let me know what do you think. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Cookie, overall, what about you? What do you think? Tell us. Well, honestly, watching this drama really made me think of nature of a human beings. And while I was watching this drama, I had a bunch of questions in my head and there were no specific answers. So the last thing that I would like to ask our audience out there is that how does it feel to fight a demon or darkness alone? Have you ever told someone you trust about this demon that you have been fighting for years? Well, I personally think that the kid who prayed to God to become a nomad kid did try his best not to become a psychopath serial killer. I mean, at least he had the desire to be um, a nomad kid without psychopath gene. What if he wasn't told that he was a psychopath? What if there was someone, an actual person out there who would listen to him, who would have faith in him and take him into the society or even help him cope with this mental disorder would he become a cold-blooded killer well it is hard to control our thoughts and almost impossible to do so but i believe that we could decide or choose what we would do next or even what we're capable of we can even try to choose like to control our beliefs and who knows we might even be able to find a way to fix ourselves to handle our demons i mean i don't um really want to bring you to the wrong track but is there really ways to fix things out there i don't know i mean who knows uh, yeah we would like to end our podcast here. Thank you so much for listening until the end. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to check the drama out. And please follow our channel to stay tuned for our future fantastic dramas review. Bye-bye. See ya.